Welcome to Coaches Weekly. I'm CJ Sullner here with head volleyball coach Troy Campbell. Coach, a two-match week for you guys. A tough one against an NAIA opponent at home early in the week against Governor State. And then you guys go to Alverno, an early Saturday morning match, and you take care of business that everything came together on Saturday. Yeah, it was uh, a great effort uh, by the girls. They, uh, they all uh, put in, I believe, our best effort of the season as far as uh, both the physical and mental game and, and did a great job. Really proud of them. Now, there's a lot of people we can talk about, especially on that Saturday match. Alyssa Sirowitz is one that we'll bring up right away. You talked about her off camera. The, her rotation, the way she served, the way her defense has been for you this year, finally came to the spotlight, and really she shined in that Alverno match. Yeah, she's had a couple other matches that have been pretty special behind the service line, but this was her best, and she served exactly where we needed to, put a lot of pressure on Alverno in that rotation, and it was a key to us going on a lot of long runs. Now, Austin Thompson, Aaron Deerruder, really have become a very present on the outside attack, and it really has kind of come alive, even in that match early in the week against Governor State. Both of them are starting to get in that double-digit kill range, and they're kind of just kind of pushing each other each on the outside, I feel. Yeah, exactly. It was, uh, I think, one of uh, Austin's uh, best days that she's had was uh, Saturday as far as hitting percentage was concerned as well. I think she hit 455 and uh, with 12 kills, which was huge in those three games. And uh, Aaron Dia did about the same thing. She had a few more errors, but uh, she was out there being aggressive, which is exactly what we need her to be. When uh, she turns the light on, she's very, very tough. And we want her to try to keep that on uh, the whole game. And she really stepped up at the end of that third game as well uh, with her service game. Uh, she came to the service line at the end there and could have easily choked or, or made a mistake, but she really stepped up and focused in on what she needed to do and served exactly where we needed it to be, and we uh, were able to come through in that last game in a tight one. And finally, Nicoletta Crowley, your setter. We talked about her a ton last year with all the gaudy numbers that she really had in assists and everything else, but this year she's kind of fit into a different role. With She's still setting for you guys, but she's starting to fit in more with the service and some of her different attacking options that she's found. Exactly. You know, uh, I, when I saw her in warm-ups uh, at Alverno, I commented to Lauren, our assistant, that she was having a really great day. It was just on point. Her attitude and her demeanor and her body language was all really fantastic, and it showed in the match. And, um, you know, now she's uh, she was always a good server, but now she's been a little bit more consistent for us. And she stepped up in some key areas, too, on Saturday. But, you know, her defense, opening up her attack game a little bit. She's one of the best blocking setters in our conference. And, uh, you know, she's just blossoming a little bit. And hopefully we've got enough time to uh, let her open up her game a little bit more. Now you guys have a three-match this week, opening up with Division Street rival Dominican tomorrow night. A big one in the Rivalry Cup that's even right now after the soccer matches. Dominican's one that everybody comes ready to play for, no matter what time, what record, where it is. And I feel like Tuesday night, your team's going to have, they'll show up with that effort just because of who they're playing. Exactly. You know, uh, it's going to be an exciting match. I hope we have a lot of people come out to see us play. And I hope that we're able to uh, present the right kind of resistance for Dominican. And I think I really respect Dominican. I respect what they've done over the last couple of years within our conference. They're a great team. And I think that we can play on that level, and hopefully we're able to achieve that tomorrow. And then in the grand scheme of things, Friday and Saturday, Lakeland and Marion, you guys are still very much alive in the playoff hunt here in the NACC. And Friday and Saturday can really help propel you guys one way or another. And I think that, it, that after that Saturday match, you guys are going in the right direction heading into what is going to be a very critical week for you guys. Exactly. You know, uh, Lakeland, I felt we played them extremely tough prior to uh, Emily Marcus's injury um, in that uh, Friday night match that we had against them. Uh, we were, I think, up 14-7 to seven in that first game. And uh, then we had her go down, and it kind of changed our d dynamic a little bit. So I think we're in much the same place right now. Uh, just getting ready to kind of take off, and I think Friday can be a great test for us. And then uh, Saturday afternoon, 
I think we match up well with Marion, and I think that we can give them a great match. And if we can come out of this week in good shape, you know, yeah, we're right in it for the top six. Well, we look forward to seeing you guys back out on the court. Cougars, they host Dominican on Tuesday night at 7 o'clock from Geisman Gymnasium. Then they hit the road for two key NACC matchups, first at Lakeland on Friday night and then against Marion on Saturday. All links will be available at cucougars.com. For Coach Troy Campbell, I'm CJ Selner. Thank you for watching Coaches Weekly.